KTL News 8 at 6. Traffic headache. Just look at the backlog caused by Route 30 East being shut down in New York County, both on the highway and on the detour, Route 462. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kim Lemon. I'm Janelle Stelson. It's not getting any better. We could be dealing with that closure and the traffic jams that come with it for days. News 8's York County reporter Ed Weinstock is live with the latest. Right now, a PennDOT contractor has brought in a massive crane to remove the beam that was damaged by a truck hauling an oversized backhoe. The hope is to open up this busy roadway soon and alleviate the miles long backup. It is a big job for the massive crane, lifting a 110 foot concrete beam from the Burbs Lane overpass. PENDOT SAYS THE BEAM WAS SERIOUSLY WEAKENED AND COULD FALL ON THE ROAD IF IT'S NOT TAKEN DOWN. THE TENDONS THAT ARE INSIDE THE BEAM HAVE BEEN HIT AND, and TORN APART AND SO THAT MAKES THAT BEAM UNSAFE. PENDOT SAYS 23,000 VEHICLES A DAY TRAVEL UNDER THE BRIDGE OVERPASS IN THE EASTBOUND LANES. FOR NOW A FOUR MILE STRETCH OF ROUTE 30 IS SHUT DOWN BETWEEN THE Helm AND WRIGHTSVILLE EXITS. THE DETOUR IS CLEARLY FRUSTRATING FOR A LOT OF DRIVERS WHO HAVE BEEN STUCK IN TRAFFIC. Oh boy, that's not good. Nothing can do about it. Just endure it. Sick days. <laughs> I hope. PANDOT expects the roadway and the bridge to reopen on Friday. In your county, Ed Weinstock, News 8. Drivers saw this backup and slow traffic all day. News 8's traffic anchor, Danielle Woods, joins us with the information you need to plan your drive around the closure. Well, this is definitely going to be your big traffic issue all week long. We're talking about that 30 eastbound closure between the Hellam and Wrightsville exits. And because of that, you've been seeing significant delays all day long and expected to stay that way throughout the night and again all week. So taking a look here, you can see that those delays are pretty significant. Speeds clocking in at just about two miles per hour and backups spanning pretty much from the Hellam exit all the way to Mount Zion Road. So to get around that, how can you beat that traffic? Well, you're going to need to take that green detour, which is 462, but again, give yourself plenty of extra time. That's really the only way you'll be able to beat that traffic because a lot of people are taking that detour, and there's really no other safe way that doesn't take you miles upon miles out of the way to get around that closure. Danielle Woods, News 8. And as you are planning your drive around the closure, you can check out WGAL.com's interactive traffic map. You can also take that information with you by downloading the WGAL app. Well, there's 